Picture a world of shadows where unseen hands guide the course of history. Welcome to the world of intelligence agencies. These clandestine organizations, shrouded in secrecy, operate behind the scenes, pulling strings that influence the globe's pivotal moments. They are the guardians of secrets, the masters of manipulation, the architects of destinies. Consider the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, America's premier spy agency. From the Cold War to the War on Terror, the CIA has been at the forefront of international intrigue, steering the course of events through covert operations and undercover agents. Similarly, there's the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, often seen as America's internal watchdog. They are the ones who keep an eye on domestic affairs, ensuring that the nation's security is never compromised. From investigating high-profile crimes to thwarting terrorist plots, the FBI's influence runs deep within America's societal fabric. And then we have the Secret Service. Initially established to combat counterfeit currency, they now protect the nation's highest elected officials. Their silent vigilance is a testament to their unyielding dedication to the country's security. Yet these agencies are not without controversies. Allegations of overreach, abuses of power and involvement in illicit activities have often marred their reputations. They've been accused of orchestrating coups, assassinations and even manipulating public opinion. These controversies add to their enigmatic aura, making them fodder for endless conspiracy theories. The influence of these agencies is far-reaching and profound. Their actions have shaped the world as we know it, impacting everything from international politics to technological advancements. They hold the power to start wars and the power to end them, to build nations and to topple regimes. But remember, these are the known entities. What about the unknown? The agencies that haven't made headlines, whose names we don't know, whose actions are so covert that they've successfully remained hidden. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? But just how deep does this rabbit hole go? The Central Intelligence Agency, or the CIA, is the stuff of legends. Born from the ashes of World War II, this organization has been shrouded in secrecy, intrigue and mystery. Its mission, to collect, analyze and act upon foreign intelligence to protect the United States and its interests. The agency's key roles have varied over the decades, from counterintelligence during the Cold War to counterterrorism in the wake of September 11th. Yet, its core function remains the same, to be the nation's first line of defense against international threats. The CIA's operations have spanned the globe from the jungles of South America to the deserts of the Middle East. It's been involved in covert actions, regime changes, and even alleged assassinations. These activities have not just shaped the world, but also fanned the flames of countless conspiracy theories. One such theory suggests that the CIA was involved in the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Another posits that the agency is hiding evidence of extraterrestrial life. And then there's the belief that the CIA is controlling our minds through television signals, a theory known as Project Bluebeam. These ideas, while fascinating, often overshadow the real work of the CIA. Behind the scenes, countless men and women work tirelessly to ensure the safety of their fellow citizens. They analyze data, conduct surveillance, and perform operations that most of us can't even fathom. But the allure of the unknown is powerful. The secrecy that surrounds the CIA naturally breeds speculation and suspicion. This, combined with the agency's far-reaching influence and power, makes it a hotbed for conspiracy theories. Despite the intrigue, it's important to remember that the CIA, like any organization, is made up of individuals, each with their own motivations and beliefs. It's not some monolithic entity operating in the shadows, but rather a complex institution striving to navigate an ever-changing world. Yet, the stories we hear are but the tip of the iceberg. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, stands as a beacon of justice, or so we are led to believe. Certainly its role in domestic intelligence and law enforcement is an important one. It investigates a vast range of criminal activities, from terrorism to cybercrime, public corruption to organized crime, white-collar crime to violent crime and more. Yet the FBI is not without its controversies. 
Some claim it has often overstepped its boundaries, meddling in areas that should be outside its purview. There are those who whisper of secret surveillance programs, of files kept on influential figures, of manipulation and control. These whispers, these murmurs, they form the basis of countless conspiracy theories. And while many may dismiss these as mere fantasies of the paranoid, we must ask ourselves, is there a grain of truth hidden within? After all, history has shown us that the FBI has had a significant influence on American society and politics. From its role in the Red Scare and the Civil Rights Movement, to its involvement in the Watergate scandal and the investigations into the September 11th attacks. These events are not mere footnotes in history, but pivotal moments that have shaped the fabric of our society. And in each of these, the FBI has played a crucial role. But what kind of role? A guardian standing vigilant against the forces of chaos and disorder? Or a watchman silently observing, recording, controlling? The FBI's motto is fidelity, bravery, integrity. These are noble ideals indeed, but as we delve deeper into the murky waters of espionage and intelligence, as we unravel the tangled webs of secrecy and power, we may find ourselves questioning these ideals. Are they truly the guiding principles of the FBI? Or are they a facade, a mask worn to hide the grim realities of power and control? Are they the pillars of justice or the tools of surveillance? But does the FBI guard us or watch over us? The line, it appears, is blurred. The Secret Service, the silent protectors of the realm, they stand as an unyielding wall between our leaders and potential danger. Yet, as with anything shrouded in secrecy, their activities have sparked a multitude of conspiracy theories. Their primary duty, as we know, is to safeguard the president and other high-ranking officials, but their reach extends beyond mere bodyguard duties. They also protect our financial infrastructure, battling against counterfeiting and cybercrime. Their dual role is a testament to their versatility and importance. Yet, there is a darker side to this coin. The very nature of their work, the secrecy, the power, has led to numerous theories about their influence on American politics. Some argue that they are puppet masters, pulling the strings behind the scenes. Others suggest they are a shadow government, controlling the destiny of the nation. One of the most prevalent conspiracy theories revolves around the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Some theorists assert that the Secret Service, intentionally or not, played a role in his death. They point to the inexplicable stand-down of certain agents, the odd trajectory of the fatal bullet and the swift removal of Kennedy's body from Texas. Then there's the theory that the Secret Service manipulates the president. The idea here is that they use their proximity to the president to subtly influence decisions, steering the course of the country in a direction of their choosing. These theories, while intriguing, remain largely unproven. But they do highlight the power and influence that the Secret Service holds, a power that, if misused, could have grave implications. So where does this leave us? How do we view the Secret Service? Are they the silent protectors they claim to be? Or are they something more sinister? Are they the shield that guards us from the shadows? Or are they the sword held at our backs, ready to strike? The Secret Service, a shield in the shadows, or a sword at our backs? Now it's time to hear from you. You see, in this vast universe of enigma and shadowy corners, your role is significant. The theories we unravel, the secrets we expose, they gain strength from your engagement. So how about we fortify this alliance? Press that like button if you found your curiosity piqued. And if you're eager to delve deeper into the mysteries of the unseen world, do subscribe to our channel. Your opinions, your insights, they are the lifeblood of this quest. Leave them in the comments section. Perhaps you've got a theory of your own or a question that lingers in the back of your mind. Share it. Let's create a vibrant space for open discussions where every thought matters, where every voice is heard. In this journey to uncover the truth, every step counts. Your participation is not just welcomed, it's essential. Remember, your voice matters in this quest for truth. In the world of shadows, truth is stranger than fiction. Diving into this murky pool, we find ourselves surrounded by the whispers of conspiracy theories, each more intriguing than the last. They involve our favorite alphabet soup, the CIA, FBI, and the Secret Service. 
Today we'll discuss some of these theories, separating the wheat from the chaff, the confirmed from the debunked. Let's begin with the theory that has stirred many a conversation, the CIA's mind control program, often referred to as MKUltra. It sounds like the plot of a dystopian novel, doesn't it? A government agency conducting clandestine experiments to manipulate the minds of its citizens. Well, in a twist worthy of a thriller, this theory was confirmed. The project, active from the early 50s to the early 70s, indeed sought ways to control human behavior through psychedelic drugs and other psychological techniques. Now let's address a popular theory that's been debunked. The FBI assassinated Martin Luther King Jr. While the FBI certainly had a contentious relationship with the civil rights leader, there's no credible evidence to suggest they were involved in his murder. This theory seems to have stemmed from the FBI's documented surveillance of King, but it's a far cry from surveillance to assassination. Another theory that has seen the light of truth involves the Secret Service and the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. The theory isn't that the Secret Service was behind the assassination, but rather that they unintentionally made it easier for the assassin. Confirmed by the Warren Commission, the Secret Service did relax security measures around the president on that fateful day in Dallas, a decision that may have indirectly facilitated the tragic event. Shifting gears to a debunked theory, we turn to the idea that the CIA created HIV AIDS as a bioweapon. This theory, unfortunately, gained traction in the 80s and 90s, but has been thoroughly debunked by scientific consensus. HIV AIDS is understood to have jumped from primates to humans, a tragic but natural occurrence. A confirmed theory that sent shockwaves around the globe involves the CIA's involvement in drug trafficking during the 80s. The agency is documented to have turned a blind eye to the smuggling of drugs into the United States by Contras, anti-communist rebels in Nicaragua. This was done to fund their fight against the socialist government, a scandal that became known as the Iran-Contra affair. Lastly, we debunk the theory that the FBI is watching every single one of us through our webcams. While it's true that the FBI has the capability to access webcams through legal warrants, there's no evidence to suggest they're spying on the average citizen. This theory often stems from a misunderstanding of the FBI's counter-terrorism efforts, which do involve surveillance, but not to the extent often claimed. In this clandestine world, the line between fact and fiction is often blurred. But by shedding light on these theories, we can better understand the actions of these agencies. The truth may be stranger than fiction, but it is the truth nonetheless. It's a world of shadows, secrets, and sometimes confirmed conspiracies. But often it's also a world of debunked theories and tall tales. The challenge lies in discerning one from the other. In the end, it all comes down to power. Power, a tool wielded by those who know how to use it, and a weapon feared by those who don't. But what is power without secrecy? It's the unseen hand, the shadowy figure in the background, the whisper in the wind. Take the CIA, the FBI, the Secret Service. These agencies thrive in the darkness, in the unseen corners of our society. Their power, their very existence, is inherently tied to their ability to keep secrets. The less we know about their operations, their plans, their motives, the more power they hold. It's a delicate dance of intrigue and mystery. A ballet choreographed in the halls of secrecy. But what effect does this secrecy have on our democracy, on our freedom? It's a double-edged sword. On one hand, this secrecy is necessary for our protection. We need these agencies to operate in the shadows, to keep us safe from threats both foreign and domestic. On the other hand, this secrecy can breed mistrust and fear. It can create a divide between the people and the institutions supposed to protect them. It's a delicate balance to maintain, a tightrope walk between transparency and security. And what of the power dynamics? The power of these agencies is immense, but so too is the power of the people. When kept in the dark, the people can become restless, suspicious. They start to question, to doubt. The power of the people, when harnessed, can shine a light into the darkest corners, can expose the secrets kept hidden.
The power of secrecy is a complex web, a game of shadows where the stakes are high and the players are always changing. It's a dance that will continue to evolve to shape our society and our world. In the game of shadows, knowledge is power and power is everything. As we venture into the future, the role of intelligence agencies becomes even more critical. These unseen entities, originally conceived in an era of trench coats and coded telegrams, must now adapt to a world of quantum computers and cyber warfare. Imagine a world where the battleground is not a physical terrain, but a digital landscape. A world where our adversaries are not armies, but codes and algorithms. This is the new frontier intelligence agencies are preparing to conquer. As we look ahead, it's clear that the traditional cloak and dagger operations will give way to a new form of espionage, one that's fought with data breaches and cyber attacks. In this realm, the spy's greatest weapon isn't a hidden microphone or a poison-tipped umbrella, but a line of code that can penetrate the most sophisticated defenses. Yet, as the nature of these agencies' work changes, so must their relationship with the public. The age of digital surveillance raises serious questions about privacy and civil liberties. Will we see a future where these agencies are more transparent, shedding light on their operations in a bid to win public trust? Or will the digital age allow them to retreat further into the shadows, their activities even more shrouded in secrecy than before? There's a balance to be struck, a tightrope walk between the need for security and the right to privacy. The future of intelligence agencies is a paradox. As technology becomes more advanced, the world becomes more interconnected and threats become more complex, these agencies will play a crucial role in maintaining global security. Yet, their work will also have to evolve to respect the changing expectations of the public in an increasingly digital world. In the end, the future of these agencies lies in their ability to adapt, to evolve, and to navigate the challenges of a world that is becoming more complex and interconnected every day. The stakes are higher than ever, the challenges more daunting. But one thing is sure, in the digital age the shadows grow deeper and the game continues. In the end, the world of intelligence agencies is a world of shadows and secrets. And thus we find ourselves at the conclusion of our exploration. We've traversed the murky corridors of power, peeking behind the curtain of the CIA, the FBI, and the Secret Service. These unseen hands, the masters of espionage, are they guardians or watchmen? Protectors of the realm or puppeteers pulling the strings from the shadows? We've delved into the depths of the world's most powerful intelligence agencies and questioned the truths they purport to protect. We've pored over theories, debunked some, confirmed others, and in the process, we've stirred the pot of intrigue that surrounds these entities. We've looked at the power of secrecy, the currency of the clandestine world. It's a double-edged sword, offering protection but also breeding suspicion. We've examined the role of secrecy in maintaining national security, while acknowledging the potential for abuse that comes with unchecked power. We've also pondered on the future of intelligence agencies, as technology evolves and the world becomes more interconnected, the nature of intelligence gathering and espionage is bound to change. But one thing remains certain, the need for vigilance, for questioning and for truth-seeking. In this vast, nebulous world of intelligence, it's easy to lose oneself in the labyrinth of secrets and conspiracies. But remember, questioning is not a sign of dissent, but rather a testament to our innate desire to understand, to know, to seek the truth. And so we arrive at the end of our journey. But this is not the end, is it? The world of intelligence is constantly evolving, forever shrouded in a cloak of secrecy. It's a world that invites intrigue, skepticism and curiosity. In this world of shadows, the only light is the truth that we seek. So continue to question, continue to seek, for that is the only way to truly understand the world we live in.